first terms, you get 2x. The outer terms are negative 4x squared. So notice I'm going to write that in front. My inner terms are negative 1. My last terms, positive 2x. And so now when I combine down my columns, I get negative 4x squared plus 4x minus 1. Okay, do make sure you write all your answers in standard form okay, when you're, exp when you're uh, submitting these questions. Okay, in the second example, uh, when you distribute, so here you have a trinomial times a binomial. Neither one is in standard form, but that's okay. You can re rearrange those later if you want. Uh, if you wanted to, you could move them into the standard form as well. You can also distribute from left to right or from right to left. Okay, so it's completely up to you. If you want, you could distribute the 3 first and then the x, or you can move, uh, start with the trinomial and distribute through to the binomial. So I'll just go from left to right. That's how most of you would probably do it. So as we move from left to right, distribute the 1. We get a 3 and a plus x. Okay, so I'm going to write my 3 here. Oops. I'm going to write my 3 here, distribute to the x. I'm going to write my x at the next term. Okay, then move to the second term, negative 2x. Distribute that through. I get a negative 6x and a minus 2x squared. Then move to my last term, distribute that through. I get a negative 9x squared and a negative 3x cubed. Okay, so again, I've, I've kept my vertically stacked like terms arranged in standard form to make it easier to write my final answer. And when I simplify it out, just combine straight down the columns, and you get your overall solution. And like I said, you could have worked through the other direction as well. You could have distributed the 3 and then the x. If we had done it that way, it would look <laughs> like the following. 3 times 1. 3 times a negative 2x, 3 times a negative 3x squared gives you negative 9x squared. Move to the x, distribute that through, times the 1, get a plus x, minus 2x squared, and then minus 3x cubed. And what you're going to see is we wind up with the same thing as we combine the terms. They have the same total value. It doesn't matter which way you distribute, left to right or right to left, as far as the factors go.